Hey guys, it's Detective Fallen here, back with another investigation video of Kakarot. In case you didn't catch that, this is Detective Fallen here, back with another investigation of Kakarot. This is part 25, and last time we left off, uh, Gohan and Goku had just come out of the hyperbolic chamber talking about, yeah, this thing's gonna be a waste of time for us now. But you guys can still use some training. And that really made Vegeta mad. Um... In this next episode, we're going to find out what kind of training he was talking about for the next nine days. And if you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will uh, be able to make more content for you guys. Sorry, I usually say that at the end. I'm trying to include it at the beginning. A lot of people have told me I need to include it at the beginning. So let's go ahead and jump into this, though. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi Chi? I mean, she's lucky we're right outside the house already. I wonder if we would have been able to hear that all the way from uh, Kami's lookout. God, a mini quest over here. What is that? The Ginyu Forest tryouts? I think that's for Gohan. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, actually, before we jump into that, I think there's a training spot right over here somewhere. Yeah. It's right on this thing, There we go. Yeah, because we need to get some of that out of the way. We need to be level 40 and 50. What level am I right now? Level 45. I, this means I must not own a skill yet. Let's see. Right, we should be able to do the training we need now though. Let's double check. Go on. Need some more training. Now so I need to uh, <clears throat> put some of his skills on the bar. Is all he has is Musenko and uh, let's change that to Super Musenko. There we go. All right, let's see if we can do some of this training now. Spirit bones. Him too? Jeez. I mean, I get it. It's a good move to use. I 
I like to drop a spirit bomb when there's like a cluster of y'all. So maybe like at the beginning of this match would have been good, but I can't use it in Super Saiyan form. At least I didn't think you could. I think once you use it in Super Saiyan form, it's considered the Super Spirit Bomb. Hoping for a beam battle. Alright, got super consecutive last. Now we're going for ultimate uh Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, see, it takes you out of straight down there. Out of that mode. Spirit one. Gotta be level 50 for that one. Uh, I feel like I need to wait on that one because I think we're only like level 45. Gokon's level 46, just slightly stronger than uh, Goku. Alright, let's go ahead and get inside and see what Chi Chi won. Yep! There's no place like home. Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well, I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... Ah, nice. Bring all that back, and I'll whip up a feast. I can't wait to dig into some of Chi-Chi's home cooking. All right, looks like we have one of almost some of the things. We just need two more frozen rabbit rabbit meats, uh, select beast meat, two more, and one more fatty giant fish.
Alright, so select beast meat. Uh, doesn't really tell us the locations we need to. Oh, yeah, it does. Unless these are just side quests for us to do. Alright, I'm guessing we have a lot of side quests to do. So while we hunt these animals down, I suppose we'll go and uh, run through these side quests. Hey, Master Roshi. Hey, Krillin. Greetings. Oh, hey. Goku. Hey, Goku. What's up? <laughs> Nothing really. I was just wondering if you guys knew any fun, any fun new ways to train. Actually, what kind of training have you been doing lately, Krillin? Making milk deliveries in the turtle shell? Tilling the land with your bare hands? <laughs> nope. No turtle shells for me. <laughs> I'm sure Krillin could have handled a couple hundred turtle shell. No, a uh, couple hundred pound turtle shell. No problem now. Man, that brings back memories. Training with you for the world tournament was fun. Oh yeah, I wonder how the Jackie Chun guy we fought is doing. Mm. He was pretty old back then, so who knows. Hey! Well, excuse me for being huh? old. Huh? We weren't talking about you, Master Oshi. <laughs> oh, oh, right, right. Haha, <laughs> I guess I misheard you or something. I remember fighting you in the tournament too, Goku. That was a pretty heated match. How's that? Indeed it was. Why don't you two fight each other now? <laughs> Are you crazy? Goku'd wipe the floor with me if we yep. fought now. If not interested in winners or losers, I'm not interested in winners or losers. I just want to see how much you two have improved. Well, Goku, will you fight Krillin? Of course. For the master! Yeah! Hey, sounds good to me. I've been dying to fight him for a while now. Alright, let's do this. But at least go a little easy on me, okay? No, Krillin. I am going to wipe the floor with you. My power! Hoping to dodge that. Yeah, I dodge it as well. That's enough. Very impressive. Both of you have grown so much it makes an old master happy to see such great huh? students. Really? That's the kind of stuff that makes yep. you happy? Of course it is. Huh? Maybe I should get my uh, MIA student someday. That way I can train them and fight them once they're ready. Huh? Sounds like you care more about fighting your student than helping them. <laughs> well, whoever trained under you would have to be crazy strong to keep yep. up. If you... If you do take on some students you should must teach them more than how to fight they will need to learn manners and discipline as well 
And martial artists is more than just the body uh, they used to fight. Yeah, I'm not so good with that sort of stuff. Oh, I think this side quest actually helped us with our main quest too. This ought to be enough meat. Great. This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. Nice. It sure was a blast fighting Krillin after all this time. <laughs> oh, does he not have any more uh, things for us? All right, let's see if there's any other little quest around. We've got plenty of them, honestly. There's this one. Uh, it's power is justice. Power is beauty. This should be Dodoria and uh, the other guy. I forget his name. I think it starts with a Z. All right, let's see. What is there to do around Yamsha's place? Getting you for us. <laughs> Alright, so definitely can go to a different area then. Don't need to deal with them. Well, this area is very shiny. I want to check that out. I think it's just another uh, fight opportunity though, which with a character that we're not. <clears throat> Great! This should be everything. Time to head back to teach. Oh, didn't dude want to fight Goku though? Back by Kami's house. Let's see what this is first. Oh, it's our old friend Ader. Hey! Ader, is that you? It is you, Ader. Ah, ah, who are you? Huh? Oh, sorry, I'm Super Saiyan, so I guess you couldn't recognize me. Haha. <laughs> I may look a little different, but it's me, Goku. Oh, Goku, long time no see. What are you doing in a place like this all by yourself? I'm gathering firewood, but I normally shovel snow. The winter is very harsh, so I'm going outside. So going outside is dangerous, but I don't mind the cold. That's why I'm gathering <laughs> firewood. You're a real nice guy, Aider. But I'm kind of in trouble. The computer inside my body is acting up. I could gather more firewood if it were huh? fixed. Huh? Maybe you're just hungry. You should eat something. No, that won't fix me. Do you know anyone who can help? Mm, let me think. Sure we do. Yeah, I think Bobo's old man might be able to help. Really? Well, I don't know for sure, but I'll ask him. Great! This should be everything. So, what do you think? Well, now. Hmm. Well, I don't have all the data I need. I might be able to do something if I had some of his spec stocks. Krillin and the others were able to find the blueprints for androids 16, 17, and 18 at Jiro's huh? lab. You can't use those. Mm. Android 8 wasn't constructed using a human base. He's like Android 16, but a much older model. Mm. I'm a very old type of all android. Right. Well, guess I'll head to the lab then. I might be able to find something there. Oh, thank you, Goku. Of course, Ader, we got you, bro. Time right. to head to Jiro's hideout that Krillin and the guys found before. And before we do go fight Cell again, we're going to try to power up all our uh, community soul emblems. So we can try to be as strong as we can for our fight without having to grind too hard. 
There we go. What's this? Intruder alert. Huh? What? What the? Is this some sort of lab robot? Kill, kill. All right. I don't know what you are, but if you're going to come at me, then bring it on. Recovery germs. Phew, that takes care of that robot, so what's that thing I picked up earlier? It's a little burned, but it looks like a file of old papers. Let's see what's written here. Android 16, modeled after Jero. What is this stuff? What's on these other pages? Hey, here we go. Android 8. <laughs> I can't make any of this stuff out, but he's... He had, but this has got to be what we All need. Right. Better go show Dr. Briefs. This should be everything. Oh, you brought me back some documents. So, can you fix Ader with this? Yep. Yes, I should be able to. Come with me, Android 8. Oh, okay. I'll be back, Goku. Yeah. Sure thing, buddy. Thanks to the documents Goku found, Android 8 was successfully repaired. <laughs> hey, look at you. You're all better, Ader. Yes, I'm good as new. That Dr. Juro certainly was a genius. He created Android as impressive as Android 8 here nearly 20 years ago. But the doctor told me I was a failure. Hmm, I can't tell what it is about you that is a failure. He must have been some special criteria on which to judge his <laughs> creations. I'm happy to be a failure, though. I got to be friends with you. <laughs> I'm glad I got to be friends with you too, Aider. You really helped me out in Muscle Tower. Right. Here, I'll take you there. Okay, thank you. This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. See ya. See ya, Aider. Goodbye. Bye, Goku. See you soon. All right. Let's check out some other mini quests in the areas. Got some over by Blake Bog. Let's go check out uh, those two that we were talking about earlier. Uh, Dodoria, and I think the other one's Zarbon, I want to say. But both the aliens, like the noticeable aliens from... Uh, what's his name's group? Frieza's uh, army. Basically like his left and right hand guys. This guy want to fight Goku? Nope. Yo! He wants to fight Gohan. Dang. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Turns out he just doesn't notice Goku right now. He's like that black-haired twerp. Talking about it. 
Best to Am I able to switch? Now. I should be able to. Ah, I guess I can't. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Hmm. Okay, Zarbon doesn't want to fight him either. Okay, so let's go check out Blake Bog. Great! This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm pumped up and ready to go. I did smash into him. This one's gonna be Why Napa. Alright, so this was the wrong area. So all three of these areas have Namek people for you to fight. I think Papaya Town does too. Either that or it's uh, the chick that's always getting ambushed. And then she gives you food in return for saving her. Great! This should be everything! Time to head back to Chi Chi. Who do we got here? Yeah. Oh. Yo. Uh, huh? Or Baba. Who are? Wait, is that you, Goku? Yeah. Yeah, I know I look a little different, but it's me, Goku. You figured that out quick. Oh. Oh ho ho, that's not all I figured out. I know why you're here. Uh -huh. Really? You're going to ask me to find you someone strong, aren't you? Sure. Sounds like a not a plan. Huh? How'd you know? Can you read minds too? Uh -huh. I don't need to read your mind to know that. Really, can you tell me if there's anyone How strong around? Sound? <laughs> Do you have any money on you? Uh, hmm. Heavens, very Fine. Well. It's not like I'd be able to turn you down anyway. I'll give you your, you this freebie. I can't believe this. Most people spend a fortune to get one of my readings. Goku isn't most people, though. Ah. Let's see. Ah, yes, here we are. You'll find the one you seek here. Thank you! You! Oh, wait. An opponent is strong. This most likely some sort of evil doer. A ruffian like you surely has a price on your head. <laughs> if you take them down, tell me. I'll take the reward money as payment. Oh, so this isn't a freebie after all. My services are never free. Huh. Well, I'm off then. So this strong guy's over there, huh? There's like three of them, though. Between worlds. Between worlds. Yeah, there's three <laughs> locations. Alright, let's go ahead and get to where we're going. Yeah! Oh, yeah. 
Gohan. I don't know what you're doing over there, but I need you to swing on this man, because he keeps shooting fireballs at me, and I'm trying to fight this guy. guy wasn't that strong. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. This area. All right. Come on. Goku travels the world to prepare for the world tournament, ending up on an island far from the tournament's actual location on Papaya's Island. Having failed to take into consideration how he would keep get to the tournament, and with the tournament only two days away, Goku finds himself in a jam. He attempts to travel via plane, but he runs into some trouble and misses the plane, leaving him with only one option, swim across the ocean. Well, that's one way to get there. <laughs> I was like, hello? I'm like right above you guys, what's going on? Power boost they do at the beginning of summer. That gives the opportunity to hit him. Alright. Well, we are not doing great. Okay, one more location. Whoa! This thing looks pretty rare. Even though we knew the androids were coming, we still couldn't stop them.
I wonder if fortune teller Baba can see what I'm doing in a crystal ball. That'd be creepy. But let's go report to her that we wiped all her enemies off the face of the earth. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, so you've done it. Yeah. Yep. But I'm still itching for a fight. Well, you could always die and head to Otherworld. You could fight as much as you want there. Well, yeah, that'd be great. But the food in this in this world tastes better. Plus, Chi Chi would really be really mad if I died, so I'm good there. My heavens! This should go without saying, but you are certainly a strange one. I suppose that's the kind of savior the world needs in the end. Alright, cool. We got a new soul emblem, too. Alright. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Looks like the last little side quest is going to be over here in the sacred land of Corrin. <coughs> Great! This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. Some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. The new peel off machine is finally complete. Goku is good, good as dead. At least he would be if I could find the capsule. Our, our apologies, Emperor Pilaf. Now, where could we have dropped it? A actually, this may be for the best, don't you think? Now that Goku's an adult, he's much stronger than before. We don't stand a chance against Damn him. Damn you! What are you saying? Don't you believe in my peel-off machine? For forgive me, sir. Yeah. Just shut your traps and find the capsule. Once we find the capsule, I'll take down Goku, gather the Dragon Balls, and finally take over the world. Um. Well, what will you do once you've taken over the world? Huh? Oh, right. Well, first, uh, um, what should I do? Yes, Emperor Pilaf, what will you do? Yeah. Sh shut up, would you? I'm not going to tell you. It's a hey. secret. What? Long time no see, you guys. What are you doing here? What? Uh? what do we do now, Emperor Pilaf? That weird guy's overheard us. Weird guy? It's kind of harsh, don't you think? It's me, you guys. Goku. Damn you! You, you lie. The Goku I know has black hair. You're an uh? imposter. Oh, right. My hair's different because I'm a Super no. Saiyan. But I'm still me, honestly. Well, well he does sound like Jeez. Goku. He's probably going for some sort of punk look. Maybe he was feeling misunderstood by others, so he dyed his hair as a way of expressing his frustration. I understand being frustrated, but why dye your hair? No. What should we do, Emperor Pilaf? We heard everything. He's heard everything we were talking about. R relax. We just need to play it cool and fool him. Yes. R right. Um. Well, well, you see, we've dropped a very important hey. capsule. And just so you know, we do not plan on using the capsule to take over the world, okay? Yeah. That That's right. We're not planning anything nefarious at all. You believe us, right? <laughs> not really. But I'll help y'all. <clears throat> oh, well. I guess I can help you find your capsule. What, what really? You will? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Did you hear that, Emperor Pilaf? He's going to help us. He's actually a pretty stand-up yeah. guy. You fools, what do you think is going to happen if he gets his hands on the capsule? We need to find it before he does. Yes, yes sir. Hey. Speaking of capsule, where exactly did we lose it? Um, I know definitely still had it before. Huh. 
All right, let's do this. All right, let's go find these boys' capsules for them, these boys and girls. Let's see. There we go. This might be it. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. And here you go. Glad to see you guys have what you need. All right, I'm off. Thank you very much. You really helped us out. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? Huh? You still need something? <laughs> Are you dense? You fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Inside the capsule lies the ultimate weapon needed to finally destroy you. Ultimate what now? It's an ultra-powerful robot. Wait, you mean there's something super strong for me to fight in there? Then what are we waiting for? Now what, Emperor Pilaf? He seems excited to fight it. Damn you! <laughs> he won't be excited for long. Release the new Pilaf machine. Dude, that thing at me like a Pokemon. Um, that's three machines, not a Pilaf machine. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh no! My peel off machine. Wow, that wasn't much fun at all. <laughs> Emperor peel off, he destroyed the machine in the blink of an well. eye. We're only got one course of action now. Run! We won't forget huh? this. Huh? Forget what exactly? Now that that's over, I think it's time to train. All right. Yeah. 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 Hey. Woo. All right. Let's see. So those are training areas. Yep, looks like we can go back to Goku's house and drop off these ingredients to Chi Chi. Great! This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. All right, happy hunting. Chi Chi, will this do for the ingredients? Back already? That's my husband for you. <laughs> Can't wait to dig in. <laughs> I'll fix this something nice, so hold your horses. Oh, wow! It smells delicious! I tried broadening my culinary horizons for the occasion. Set your expectations high, boys! Man, I can't wait! 
You'll have to. No eating until we reach the picnic spot. Then let's get going. All right. <laughs> Instant transmissions. It's been ages All right, since we've she wanted to go for together. a drive. This will be fun. I'd do anything for some tasty grub, but I've never been big on this driving business. Why don't we just take the Nimbus? Way easier. And funner, to be honest. Because then it wouldn't be a family drive, now would it? Plus, a trip by car has a little something called ambiance. Um, is that it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Goku. Remember the first day we met? When we rode on your flying Nimbus? Of course I do. We went to see Master Roshi to borrow the Boncho fan. Yep, that's right. When I was riding behind you, I already knew that we had to get married. Huh? Really? Ah, <sighs> such beautiful memories. Since the day we were first engaged up until our reunion at the World Tournament, all I could think about was meeting you again. Oh, that's so sweet. Goku is just being dense Mom as ever. seems happy to be spending time with Dad. When that heart disease hit him, she was really worried. I know. I should excuse myself. They'd probably enjoy a bit of time alone together. Sorry. I just remembered some stuff I have to do. Mind going on ahead without me? I'll catch up as soon as I can. Huh? But Gohan, we've been planning this for... Don't worry. I know the spot. Plus, I can fly there faster than you can drive. You two, enjoy the ride. If you say so, shall we, Goku? It'll be just the two of us. Sounds good. See you later, Gohan. <laughs> Trying to get get a little brother, ain't it, Gohan? What should I do now? Hey, someone's calling. I wonder who it could be. Hello? This is Gohan. Oh, hey, Gohan. It's me, Bulma. Can you put your dad on the line? Oh, you want dad? Sorry. Him and mom just left. He did? Oh, rats. Then I just missed him. Is something the matter? Uh, maybe. You see, we're at my place fixing up the android that Krillin brought back. He needs a replacement chip in his head, but we don't have the materials to make it. I did some research, and it looks like the metals we need can only be found in your neck of the woods. I was hoping your dad would be able to help out in that department. Oh, is that all? I I'd be happy to help. I'm free anyway. <laughs> really? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay, I'll rattle off the stuff we need. Ready? Mm -hmm. Got it. Three things I'll on the right. In a oh, you're a lifesaver, Gohan. This isn't a bad way to spend an afternoon. All right. All right, cool. Now we can transform uh go on. We need to put some of these on our palette though. I just remembered that we were pretty low last time. Oh, we got sensor beams. Alright. I was looking for this. So I need to see if I can need to uh, equip the transformation. No, how? What is this? Oh, you have to actually equip these? I did not know that. Oh, 
wasn't done. Transformation's already equipped, Super Masenko's already equipped. Looks like we are good to go. some food and we'll go ahead and go see what this next quest has for us that's giving us a chance for some of these side quests too Let's see what is this guinea force tryouts I think that's one for Gohan Um. <coughs> what you doing? Hey. Who are you? Uh, um. I fought you back on Planet <laughs> Namek. Whoa! I recognize that voice. You're the little pipsqueak from back huh? on Namek. Wait, wait. You look completely different. What the hell is going hey. on? Whatever. We gotta figure out how the hell we got hey. here. Yeah. You look like you know something. Start talking. You guys are on Earth. You're here because we wished you back using the uh, Dragon Balls. Mr. Ginyu got himself turned into a frog and wandered off somewhere. Why? What do you mean Captain Ginyu's a frog? Uh, Did he screw up his body change hey. or something? Why would you wish us back? We're your enemies, you know? Yes. Well, I thought you might change your ways and maybe become our allies. Uh, allies? What do you want to join? You want to join the Ginyu no. Force? Huh? No, no, that's not what I... <laughs> Oh, so that's it. You want to join the Force. The Ginyu Force is the is an elite squad of warriors formed under the orders of Lord Frieza himself. Captain Ginyu was entrusted with selecting members for the team, taking balance into consideration. He chose certain combat specialists. After selecting me as his protege, Captain Ginyu then chose Raccoon for his power and Butner for his speed. And then finally... And then finally, to round out the team, he selected Goldo, who's not much of a fighter, but he's a special ability, but has a special ability to freeze time. Yeah. There used to be one more, Banyu, the brains. Uh. Oh yeah, that girl who went quiet because she thought our special fighting poses was lame. Indeed. She had no sense of style. <laughs> but you, bringing us back so you could join the force, that shows you got style. Hey. You were pretty weak when I fought you before you're not strong enough to join yeah. yet but if you don't have five people for our fighting ah, for our special fighting pose will look ridiculous I guess we could make him a temporary member until we find yeah. the captain good point yeah. we can't just let him join without some sort of test though <laughs> I got it go over there and think up a stylish pose that'll knock our socks off do that and you're what? in a stylish pose uh. hmm this is what got go on into the poses. How about this? Hideous. That ain't good enough. Do you even know what stylish hey. means? You should be ashamed of yourself. That that's awfully harsh. Hey. I'm guessing you don't have any special abilities like Goldel's time freeze either. Sorry, but we can't let you join hey. the Ginyu Force. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Let's give him another shot. How about we test the little guy's power? Hey. You just want to fight him, don't you? You got me there. Whatever then, I'm going to fight him too. I also want to see what he's made hey. of. 
Hey, that's not fair. If you guys are gonna fight him, then I'm too. Then I am too. I haven't had a good fight in forever. <laughs> There's more like that's more like that. Like it. You got it, mate. So it's gonna be the three of you against me. That's great. Pff, fat chance that's gonna happen though. Oh, these guys are only level 32 though. They are going hard though. I wonder if that's true. I didn't know Jace was recruited as basically like Captain Ginyu's second in command. I always wondered why, because he's never he never was that strong. Indeed. And like they were saying earlier, he doesn't have any special powers. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Your poses are garbage, but spend enough time with us, and we'll help you get better. I wonder if it's a good idea to befriend guys like this. I guess I should work on my poses too, huh? I may end up having a use for them in the future. <laughs> Like becoming sub, uh, what is it? Supreme? I don't know. Dang, I can't remember. It's like Kai Man, Saiyan Man. That's what it was. All right, got four new soul emblems as well from that, so that's good. Uh, let's go check out. What is that over there? Crane School Scouting. <laughs> This was Yamcha's house. <laughs> it destroys rock. Oh, so this was Yamcha's house. Yeah, we just destroyed it, Gohan. I think I can take this guy. Alright. This looks pretty good. I think I can take this guy. Our best bet is the little brat we encountered years ago. He pos possessed a great deal of power for someone his age. If memory serves me, that woman called him Gohan. I recognize these guys. How irritating. Why does the turtle school get so many students while the crane school gets none? It's only a matter of time now before the crane school is no more. This is quite the crisis. Well, no doubt have to start using force to gain students. I won't let you! Hey, what are you two doing? You're not up to no good again are you uh no uh who are you i'm goku son gohan we met before don't try and tell me you forgot what you did what G gohan no way impossible you look nothing like him <gasps> oh right a lot's happened but it's still I me won't let you. but enough of that you two are planning something evil just like last time <clears throat> aren't you that was just business. Only a foolish child would think otherwise. What? No. W wait, there's no need for us to fight like huh? this. Huh? Yeah. That was a long time ago. It's in the past. I've thought long and hard since then, and I want to reform the crane school. Oh. Really? <sighs> but as you can see, the crane school is fresh out of successors. I have worked so hard to change, but no one will join. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Sh shut up. If you're going to revitalize the crane school, we need power, and this kid might just have the power we need. Uh, oh, oh, I see. Ah, there you have it. So, will you consider carrying on the crane school name? I've, I'll waive the fee for you. 
I'll throw in a free assassination on top of that. Yeah. We will at least listen to what you have to say. Will you at least listen to what we have to say? Um. Go ahead, but I'm not promising you anything by listening. Yeah. My beloved Crane School is on the brink of collapse. Mm. Even the students I have brought up with such tender care, Tian and Chao Tzu, have obtained me, have abandoned me, and show no signs of returning. <sighs> And what's worse is that the Turtle School gets all the promising students like no. you. Uh, um, I'm actually not one of Master Roshi's ah. students. And that's why I have decided to turn over a new leaf and train a new set of students in earnest. Yeah. What he said. Mm. Is that so? He looks awfully suspicious. Damn. That leaves us no other choice then. No. Very well. Allow me to prove to you just how serious I am. I have gone to great lengths to procure what your master Roshi and all the other students love the most in this um, world. Huh? What could that be? Uh, oh! Uh, huh? Bro, a photograph collection of women? <laughs> yeah. This is the newest volume, too. I just bought it today. Uh, well, what do you think? Well, you'll get this and plenty more if you join the Crane uh, School. Well, I actually prefer a botanical encyclopedia. Uh, what? what? Are you crazy? Do you not see the curves? All Turtle School students share the same interests as Roshi, right? No! Not all of his students are like him. Take my dad, for instance. He has no interest in this kind of stuff. Plus, like I was trying to say before, I'm not actually a student of the Turtle School. Okay. Grr, so you want, so you won't join the Crane School, eh? You? Tao Pai Pai, prepare the machine. We're using force after all. <laughs> bah ha We should have just done this from the beginning. Oh god, these things are pretty big. Quiver in fear of the Tai Pao Super Machine. Sigh, you guys are hopeless. I kind of like the animations of those ones, though. Like, it's a lot different from the other ones. No, not again. No I don't want to be blown up again. What? What are you... What did you do to our machine? Why Curses, you? I felt to draw you away from your beloved turtle school. Look, I don't know how many times I need to say this, but I don't belong to the turtle what? school. What? Well, what? Then to what school do you belong, then? Oh, um, well, I'm actually taught how to fight by Mr. Piccolo, Krillin, and my dad. So I guess I don't really belong to any one school. What? what? How preposterous. <laughs> that, the boy's right. Huh? Master Roshi? What? Yeah, what the hell is he doing here? Gohan's the face of the new age of martial arts, unstrained by the dogma of one school of thought. He has multiple masters, none of whom are set obsessed with carrying out their teachings. His masters taught him what they know only because they want him to succeed. This is how things are now. <laughs> Damn. Phew, I guess that takes care of that. It's a good thing Master Roshi showed up. Um. By the way, what are you doing here, Master Roshi? Oh, just a little personal mm. matter. I don't believe this. I can't believe I wasted all this time and money on that stupid book. Aha, yes, about that. Hey. Uh -huh. The uh, book you showed Gohan earlier, See seeing as how you don't need it, could I maybe take it off your hands? What? What? Yep. 
Well, you see, I wanted to buy that volume, but you ended up buying the last one. I thought I could chase you down and get you to give it to me. Hmm. Oh yeah, you said you'd give students at the Crane School a lot of those books, didn't you? Very well. I guess that means I'm joining the Crane School then. What? <laughs> Over my dead body, I don't want a perverted old fart like you as my student. Hey. <laughs> You're one to talk. You bought the book in the first Why place. You? At least I didn't chase after someone who bought the book like a pathetic little worm. <laughs> well, since I'm out here now, you might as well let me take a peek at it. Why you? I will do no such thing. You unbelievably selfish skeezer. What? I'd rather be selfish than a pervert. <laughs> and Gohan's just like, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. That was no walk in the park, but it's all over now. All right, so we still got to pick up the memorite for Bulma. Let's see. We got any more side quests laying around for us? I think we can actually go check on uh, those two from before, because I'm pretty sure at least two of them. Well, the three from before, the because two of them I think at least wanted to fight Gohan. What do you mean you wonder how he's doing? We just seen him being a perverted old man. He's doing well, Gohan. He's doing well. You're up against me now. Okay, cool. Power is justice. Who the hell are you? Huh? I got no business with a turp like you. Uh, actually, we met on Namek. Oh, right. I wasn't a Super Saiyan then. What the hell are you mumbling about? Wait, did you say Namek? You're, you're that little punk that kicked me back then, aren't you? Well, you deserved it for what you did to the people of Namek. Why do I gotta listen to a whiny little pipsqueak like you? I've cleared entire planets with my bare hands and I can do the same to you, punk. You're in for a rude awakening then. I'm a lot stronger now. Oh yeah? You look like the same little twerp to me. If you don't believe me, then check your scouter. What? Oh. What did you say? What the? There, see how strong I am? This, this scouter's got to be busted or something. There's no way you're that strong. Damn it. Enough no. of this crap. I'm going to get straight to the clobbering. Well, that was a fast fight. More talk than fight. Buddy boy. No, ah, too strong. Promise you won't do anything evil ever again. I, I promise. From here on out, you're going to use your power for good. Uh, you got it. And then we get his soul emblem too, I believe. Yep. Dragon Ball, all about making bad guys We're turn not good. Do any more evil, right? All right, let's go check on. I want to say this one's Zarbon. I think I can take this guy. I think I can take this guy. I'm going to do this. 
<sighs> keep making me fight these like little side enemies before I can get to them. want yeah Zarbon power is beauty I'm here to make sure you learned your lesson <laughs> I see so it's it was you who revived me and brought me to this strange hmm. planet but you're different from how I remember what? you wait you know who I yes. am hmm. do you take me for a fool your hair color is not the same but you're the nuisance of a kid from Namek aren't you I guess that saves me some time, then. I want you to promise me you won't cause trouble anymore. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't make that kind of promise. What? <laughs> there is no beauty in doing so. If you truly wish to persuade me, you'll have to do it by force. Fine, then. Here I come. <laughs> Teleported just as he got blasted, I guess. I see you certainly are strong. I beg you, please give up your evil ways. I saw that you guys, what you guys did on Namek. I saw you commit horrible acts of cruelty. Hmm. <laughs> and now I'm being mocked by a child. Very well. Allow me to demonstrate a power of which even the Ginyu Force knows nothing. Gross. <laughs> Hmm. It looks like you, you're rather startled by my power. I'm not startled by his appearance. I'm more startled by his appearance, really. No turning back now. You're dead. He literally powered up one level. So you still planning on causing trouble? No. No, I've had my fill. Huh? Hmm. I acknowledge your superior strength. The power of yours rivals no. It perhaps even surpasses that of Lord Frieza. Fine. Power that great should not be wasted. I can show you how to wield it properly. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> we'll use it to rule over the entire galaxy. What? So you mean... <laughs> yes, I will change my ways. And you'll continue to grow stronger. And sh so strong that no one will dare challenge us. Additionally, I will assist you with your training whenever you wish. <sighs> oh, what? <laughs> there will be no limits to the beautiful heights we can reach together. Should, should I just leave him like this? Well, it seems like he's really given up his evil ways, so I guess I shouldn't worry too much. Cool, getting all kinds of soul emblems. So before we fight Cell, we're gonna be very powerful. All right, let's go check out Blake Bog because I think um, what's his name wanted to fight us too, Nappa. Yeah, looks like there's one more side quest off in like the Land of Corn or something over there.
Man, we've left Goku and Chi Chi along for so long that they might be making Goten after all. Um. Everybody just wants to fight Gohan. Poor kid. Say in power. You ain't shaking in your boots. Guess you don't know who I am, huh? No. Um, actually, we met once before. Er, not so much met as what? fought. Hmm, I don't remember fighting a blonde runt like you. No. Hold up. There is something familiar about you. Wait, no, nah, you can't be. Are you Kakarot's brat? Yes. Haha, <laughs> yep, that's me. There's something different about this punk. Whatever. I wouldn't... I couldn't care less. Why you? What the hell are you doing um... here? I like... To help, uh, I'd like you to help me out with my training. What? what the? I got no idea what the hell's going on here, but it sounds like you want me to be your friend. Oh, come on! There ain't no way I'd ever go along with what Kakarod wanted, let alone his weak little punk of a kid. You can find out if I'm weak or not by training with me. What? What? Why, you? You're pretty cocky for a little guy. You wouldn't know, but Radis was just as cocky as you at first. Then I put that long-haired chump in his place. Looks like I gotta beat you around too to show you who's boss. That's messed up. Didn't know you guys had a rivalry. I really hate that, like, as Super Saiyans, they power up before every fight. Because it, like, gives everybody who's not a Super Saiyan the chance to just attack you off the beginning. So it's like you gotta start off with a block. Alright. Easy peasy though. They're way below the level that I'm at right now. So these fights are a little easier. No way! What's with this runt? <laughs> what do you think of me now? <laughs> oh, come on. If you're gonna pl play it like that, then I guess I got no yeah. choice. Fine, we'll do things your way. I'm just supposed to help you train, what? yeah? Yeah, thanks. Hey. Remember this, though. I'm a proud Saiyan warrior. Once I'm stronger than you, I'm the one who's caught, got. Uh, I'm the one who's gonna call the shots. Got it? Yes. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> he only agreed to that because he knows you're never gonna be stronger than him. All right, let's see. Ah, Kami's Lookout also has a mini quest. Um. What are you thinking about, Mr. Hey. Piccolo? Perfect timing, hey. Gohan. I'm looking to test my power, and the best way to do that is to fight a Super Saiyan. How about it? I got you, big green machine. Once a teacher, always a teacher. No problem, Mr. Pickle. I'm looking Piccolo, I'm looking Pickle. I'm looking forward to fighting you.
sparring with you like this reminds me of the two of us when the two of us trained together before. Huh. You mean when your dad was dead? Hi. Yeah, really takes me back. By the way, on the first day of training, I could get down off that I couldn't get down off that <laughs> cliff, but I remember finding some apples on the ground. You got those for me, didn't no. you? No. Hell if I know. <sighs> I wish you had given me some dumplings <laughs> instead. You spoiled brat. You're lucky you got anything at all. <laughs> well, that proves it. It was you. No. Tch, you're a crafty one. I'll give you that. <laughs> well, I'm a student of a demon clan member. <laughs> As your master, then, I'll say this. I can tell that you've still got untapped power in you, but you're not able to access it right now. If you want to be cell and save the world, you can't show any restraint. What? Understood. I'll try my hardest. Alright, so that should be all the mini quests in the area, including all the ones that we can wish back from the Dragon Balls. So let's go ahead and catch up with Goku and Chi Chi. Oh, great. We're not catching up with them yet. We gotta find these parts for Bulma. Let's see. Where are you? That should be one of them. Calm down, Gohan. This must be what Bulma was talking about. Should be two more. I think that might be one. And one more to go. Just one left. I gotta say, these gathering quests are probably the worst. Like I, like I get they were trying to probably give us something other to do than fight, but they could have just like taken that out and given us more time to fight. But I get it. The gathering is part of the game too now. There it is. The some of them get really tedious and it's just like, why am I doing now this? Now take this back to Capsule Core. I thought I was going to say Capsule Core. I thought that was a... Uh... Well, I guess that is technically what I said. Isn't that... No, I'm thinking of something else. Goku is a carefree young boy living on his own deep in the mountains. One day, on his way back to his hut while carrying a giant fish, he caught, he caught, he is hit by a car. The impact barely phases him, but having never seen a car before, he assumes the machine is a monster looking to steal his meal. Goku grabs the car and hurls it away. A teenage girl named Bulma appears from the overturned car and shoots Goku with her gun. This rather unpleasant first encounter to her serves as the beginning of their, of the pair's epic adventure. Yeah, I remember that. She shoots him in the head, like literally dead center of the head, and it just bounces off his forehead. He's talking about, ow, it hurts. That wasn't nice. <laughs> Bruh, she just tried to end your life. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so the next area is going to be giving these materials to Bulma. Gohan, I really appreciate it. All that's left is to build the chip. Uh, uh, hey, 
what's with that look? Uh, are you really Gohan? I am. Honest. Uh, it's a long story. Have you not seen Goku change I'll before? Bet. I or mean, Vegeta, for that you? fact. Oh, he did get taller, though. Uh, well, you are your father's son, and Saiyans are weird, so I guess this isn't out of the question. No use applying logic to you guys, anyway. She's being surprisingly calm about all this. I guess living with Vegeta's kind of numbed her. Thanks for being my delivery boy. You're the best. Uh, you're welcome. And... Sorry I surprised you. By the way, now that you're here, do you want to watch me fix the android up? I'm pretty sure he's safe, but you know, you can't be too careful. So do you mind staying for a bit? Oh, uh, no problem. Where the hell is Vegeta? <laughs> he should be watching you, making sure that you're not getting killed so, by androids. This is an android. These things were built to kill Dad. There we go. It's done? Mm hmm. Almost. The chip you helped us build was successfully integrated. It may be tiny, but it's what gives the android life. Now, we stick it in the cranial chamber here, and... <laughs> Voila! It's crazy they want Gohan to be like a scholar and everything. Why don't they just have him hang out with Bulma and her dad? They're like the smartest people in the world. Mm. Analyzing situation. He'd be the He's smartest and the strongest. Hey, you! Got a name? I am Android 16. Scanning memory logs. I was brought here by Krillin for repairs. His memory circuits are functional. Oh, good. He's back. You did it, guys. Are you the ones who repaired me? I am grateful. Oh, <laughs> no need to mention it. If you want to thank someone, thank Gohan here. After all, he helped us fix you. Gohan. H Hello? Searching. Data profile found. Gohan, son of Goku. Hey now, mister. Just because he's Goku's son doesn't mean you have to terminate him. He is irrelevant. My target is Goku, not his offspring. That's so. Okay, I guess I can live with that. <laughs> Mm. He's staring at me. Why? Doctor. Yes? I wish to run a field test in the nearby forest to gauge this body's functionality. Hmm. Well, I don't see a problem with that. Come with me, Gohan. Your assistance may be required. Uh, really? Um... Sorry, kid, but humor him. He should be all right. But we just restarted his systems, and you never know what could happen. Sh sure thing. I will go on ahead. Find me in the forest. Counting on you, Junior. R right. Guess we could have just opened up our map and jumped to the location. Have to walk outside first. Bulma's house really stands out. It's huge. Hmm. Oh. Guess I could just walk outside. <laughs> of yours <laughs> mm. satisfactory diagnostics indicate 100% functionality 
Glad to hear that. Um... Oh. oh. <laughs> so, do you like animals? Affirmative. They put me at ease. I like animals, too. All sorts of things interest me, actually. I'm hoping to be a scholar someday. A fine goal. I am certain you will make an exemplary scholar. By the way, <laughs> are you really out to... kill my dad? Affirmative. That is my only directive. I have no other use. As a result, I was declared defective and stored away. Huh? I loathe conflict. Therefore, as a weapon, I am defective. That's no reason to shut you down. Dr. Giraud once said, he made me in the image of his deceased son. Does that mean Dr. Giraud and Android 21 were like a thing? Because I thought he was supposed to be like uh, a replica of her son too. But he was bold and daring. I am not. A war machine that shuns war is nothing but a failure. But if that's the case, Dr. Giraud, good job, man. <laughs> Don't say that. It's the truth. <laughs> so this is where all them cuddly critters been hiding. Who are uh, just folks. Looking to make a gosh darn fortune off of pelts. What? <laughs> Looks like we hit the jackpot. Can't believe we'd fight all these furs in one spot. That's just disrespectful. Poachers. Even if you guys are poachers, you see these guys interacting with these animals. How are you just going to show Go up and on. say, we're going to kill them? Way ahead of you. Let's send these jerks packing. All right. Neutralized. Yeah. Go on. I am grateful for your assistance in protecting the animals, as well as for assisting with my repairs. My apologies for not thanking you sooner. Oh, it's no big deal. Hmm. The real reason I asked you to accompany me is a discrepancy between my data and your current appearance. I intended to personally reevaluate your potential in combat, but thanks to the altercation with the poachers, there is no longer such a need. Your power is immense. It far surpasses all your records in my system. I foresee you becoming the deciding factor in the outcome of the Cell Games. Me? But my dad's way stronger. <laughs> We are not so different, you and I. We aren't? Let us return for now. The doctor will be worried if we take too long. Right. Let's head back. How are 16 and I alike? How'd it go? Exceptional. I am fully operational, thanks to you. <laughs> nice job out there, boys. I heard you rounded up some poachers. Bet you socked him something fierce, huh? What morons going up against the son of Goku and a giant android, huh? It was nothing, really. <clears throat> I know. Why don't you stay for dinner? It's the least I can do to repay you for your help today. Honestly, 
I haven't done anything. Oh, uh, don't be silly. Make yourself at home and spend the night while you're at it. I'll phone your mother for you, okay? <laughs> yeah, like I said, they're definitely making go ten right now. <laughs> okay. Sure. And now Gohan's staying the night at Bulma's house. Yep. Yep. <laughs> So, Gohan's at Bulma's? I was wondering where he'd run off to. Yep, she just called and said he's staying the night, too. Her family's loaded. Gohan's probably having the feast of his life right now. Aren't you jealous, Goku? Well, sure. I love myself some good grub. But nothing beats your home-cooked meals. And if we're being honest, I'd choose them over any spread in the world. Aww. What a sweetie. Really? Thanks. Even if it's just flattery. Uh, oh, I'm getting so embarrassed. Shortly after Gohan had returned home. We've just received breaking news. After having been dispatched to defeat the monster known as Cell, the Royal Guard has been utterly decimated due to one of Cell's attacks. I repeat. H how terrible! Those were innocent people. <clears throat> that monster! <clears throat> Chi-Chi, I need to talk to Piccolo about something. I'll be right back. Goku! He's not and going to see he's Piccolo. Going. What does he need to talk to Piccolo about? I I'm not sure. My man went to go see Cell. <laughs> oh, no, he actually went to go see Piccolo. Yo! Goku, what is it? You don't think you'd be able to go back to how you used to be before merging with Kami, do you? What? Well, merging with Kami made the Dragon Balls disappear, right? And I want to use the Dragon Balls to wish all the people back who were killed by Cell. Sorry, but it's not like flipping a switch. We're stuck together forever. Exactly why I needed to think so long and hard about it before coming to a decision. Wow. That must have been a tough call. Hmm. <laughs> you made the wrong one, Piccolo. We need the Dragon Balls. I know. Maybe I could ask one of the Namekian survivors to come to Earth. If he agrees to stay here, we'd have a new Guardian. And you know what that means? The Dragon Balls would come back, baby! That's a wonderful idea. Wait here. Fingers crossed. Hmm. So this is how they decided to get a new, uh... With King Kai's assistance, Goku managed to zero in Guardian. on the Namekian survivors' new home world. Upon arriving <clears throat> via instant transmission, <clears throat> Goku was given a hero's welcome by the planet's residents. Goku explained Earth's predicament and asked the new Grand Elder Mori if he knew any candidates suited to becoming Earth's new guardian. As luck would have it, Mori knew just the person for the job. It was none other than... Dende. Dende. Piccolo, it's been too long. Wait one sec. I'll have Gohan and Krillin here in a jiffy. Let's see. What? <laughs> Guys, meet Earth's new guardian. Uh, is that really you, Dende? It's been ages. Hey, can you believe Blondie here is actually Gohan? Krillin, Gohan! It's great to see you two. Are, are you really gonna be the new guardian? 
That's right. I'm really glad our paths could cross again. Dende, is it true that you can restore the Dragon Balls? Yes, I can. Making a new set would take about a hundred days. But if we use the inert set already on Earth, I should be able to have them working in no time. Really? That's perfect! We would then get three wishes, right? Same as on Namek? Yes. So, would we be able to wish back multiple people like last time? I suppose that could be possible. I mean, I'd have to make the proper adjustments. But if you did that, it would count as two wishes. Oh? Is that all? Fine by me. Let's do it. All right. I'll begin right away. The Dragon Ball should be restored now. Wait, what? Already? Incredible. Looks like this little guy has some serious power. All right. I'll round up all the Dragon Balls then. Gohan, consider your training complete. Kick back with Dende until the Cell games start. Huh? Hey, don't worry. It'll be fine. Later. Well, time to get looking. <coughs> <coughs> all right, so... Damn, they really want me to search for all the Dragon Balls again, don't they? Do I have to, though? It's not like there's any new wishes. You know, I've actually... I don't think I've been to this spot before. Pretty dumb here. There is only one way to unlock sure the power the Dragon hiding Dragon Balls really inside Goku now. and defeat Demon King Piccolo. It's just hard to believe they could come the back Ultra so easily. The Ultra Divine easy. Water. To obtain the Ultra Divine Water, Goku and Yajiro we venture deep into a cave at the end of the icy maze in the far north. After completing Darkness Trial, Goku is finally able to drink the Ultra Divine Water. However, the water proves to be poison that will only imbue its drinker with the po with the power if they can withstand the powerful effect. This. Hmm, a lot of stuff around here, too. Bora is ruthlessly murdered by Tao Pai Pai, an expert assassin hired by the Red Ribbon Army. And to add insult to injury, he still go steals Goku's Dragon Balls. Though he had lost, Goku is able to avoid death thanks to the four-star Dragon Ball he still held, which absorbed the would-be fatal blow. <clears throat> Eager, eager to bring Bora back to life and reclaim the stolen Dragon Balls, Goku sets his sight on Korin Tower, hoping to gain access to Divine Water and increase his strength several times over. He thus begins a climb no one else proved strong enough to complete. I want to say there's one more around here. Yeah! Alright! <laughs> we got a keeper! Found some tasty looking food. Say, a lot of goodies Found some down tasty here. looking food. <laughs> we got a keeper. I can't start the quest down there. Just one of those sensu beans. Hey! Yeah! He said, don't look at me, I ain't fighting. Hey, Corrin, what you that? doing? <clears throat> Term? Oh, I see. You're a Super Saiyan. I didn't recognize you at first. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I totally forgot I look completely different as a Super Saiyan. Well, now. well, you may look different on the outside, but you're certainly still Goku on the inside. So what's going on? Are you some in some no. sort of trouble? No, not really. I would like your help with 
something huh? though. Hmm? What's Yo. up? I want to brew some delicious mushroom tea, but I appear to be fresh out of mushrooms. Your teacher, Roshi, used to go out and gather them for me back when I trained him. Master Roshi? Really? Mm. It's been ages since he's done it. There's a particular cave where they grew. The area around the cave hasn't changed much, so it should still be there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but would you go get some for me? I just remembered I have other matters to attend to. Sure, kitty kitty. I shall go get your mushroom tea. <clears throat> yeah. Sure, I could do that. Many thanks. Many thanks. Here's where you can find the cave. All right. I'm counting on you. Huh. It's over by the cell games. <coughs> it's an odd location. <clears throat> Don't get too close. Don't get any closer to us. We don't trust humans. Hey, now, just take it easy. I haven't done anything. I need something in the cave. You, you came here to make fun of us, right? Get out of here. Man, these guys really are upset. There's no way I can find mushrooms like this. Maybe I should just turn back. I'm not sure what their problem is, but I guess they won't talk to a human, even though I'm not one. I'd feel kind of weird just leaving them like this though <clears throat> can't bring corn here either he is an old timer all after right. all yep i better ask oolong let's see oolong oolong hey so, what gives why do you bring me to a place like this i don't need to be here <laughs> oh come on oolong you're got nothing better to do right i could really use come your help on now i'll admit i got nothing better to do but what the heck there's no girls here. Y you. You don't look like a human. Did you take some animorph feeling too? Huh? huh? I was born this way. <coughs> you were born that way? Then you are suffered even more than we yeah. have. So what's going on with you guys? It may not look like it, but we used to be human. We wanted to turn into beast men, so we took some animorph in, but now we're stuck like this. Mm. Yeah, and now the animorph feeling fads over you don't see any more beastmen uh, around we'll be a laughing stock of the town if we go back like this please you've got to help us find a way to make us human again okay so all right that explains why some of the people were like animals before like in the world tournament you see people were like were humanoid animal people and we always wondered if that was just like because the world was like in an apocalyptic time or something but in, apparently it's like some drug or some kind of like thing you take and it turns you into a furry looking creature basically <sighs> uh, so goku what are you gonna do Sheesh. this is a toughie so if you guys can turn back to normal you'll let me in the cave right i'm looking for some mushrooms that grow in right. there yeah sure right. my friend bulma might know what to do i'll ask for you guys you're gonna help us? Well, I'll do what I can. Thank you. Thanks for hearing them out, Oolong. Huh? Wait, that's all you needed from me? You made me come all the way here for all that? Right. Okay, let's hey, head back. What gives? Uh, are you deaf? <sighs> Goku brought Oolong back to the West City. Come on now! Jeez, I'm not just some tool you can use and throw away whenever. <laughs> hey now, don't say that. It was easy, right? You didn't really have to do anything. You haven't changed at all. You drag people into your messes and act like it's not uh -huh. a big deal. Do I? Never really thought about it much anyway. Let's go see Bulma. <sighs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. Bulma... 
Let's say she's in here. Bull May. Hey, Bulma. Hi there. Oh, Goku, what brings you here? You know, anything about a drug called anamorphillin? Of course, it's a serum developed by magical pharmaceuticals. Taking it turns you into a beast, man. <laughs> it was all the rage back when I was about 10 or so. Even King Furry took some and became a beast, what? man. Nobody really takes the stuff anymore, from what I could tell. Why do you yeah. ask? Well, I ran into some guys that took some extra strength version of the stuff and can't turn mm. back. Extra strength? Animal for Lynn. I've never heard of that. What about you? You know anything? Uh. I was created for the sole purpose of destroying Goku. I will not provide him assistance. Uh. Come on, you can tell me, can't you? And it's not even Goku that needs help, it's the <sighs> Beastman. Okay. Fine, fine. Goku, take a hike for a second. Maybe he'll tell me if you aren't around. <laughs> what? There, that better? Understood. Very well. As I owe you for your assistance, I will tell you. <laughs> Good. Goku's not here anymore, so spill the beans. <clears throat> wow. <sighs> My data banks indicate that the Red Ribbon Arby once sold inferior animal as a means to secure funding. That may be the cause. Oh, really? You think they still got any more of that stuff stockpiled <clears throat> somewhere? There was more than ten years ago. I would imagine there is none left by now. <sighs> If only I could run some tests on the inferior anamorphine and find a way to counter its effects. So that's the gist of it. Sorry to say this, but those beastmen are going to have to pray help comes from above. From above? That's not going to... Wait. Wait, I bet Mr. Popo knows something. Hey, Mr. Popo, you got a second? I need to talk to you about something. Hello? Yes, what is Thank it, Goku? You. Thanks, so there's this stuff called Anamorphillin that turns people into beastmen. There's these guys that took a bad batch and, can turn, and can't turn back. You know a way to help yes. them out? Probably. I know the recipe for, the, for an antidote that can reverse the effects of any substance. But I need some special ingredients, and, some will have to, and someone will have to assist me in concocting the All antidote. Right. Got it. I'll find the ingredients and Bulma can help you make the antidote. Hey. This is what I require. High quality herb, meaty rever snow, golden gazelle antler. Oh my gosh, the golden gazelle antler is the hardest thing to get. I remember spending hours trying to get this thing. You guys are playing with my feelings now. All right, let's see. This might be ha have to be one of those ones we end up skipping because it's just a pain in the butt. <laughs> All right, uh, in the meantime, while we're looking for the ingredients that he wants, I guess we'll try to find the uh, Dragon Balls, and that might take up some of the time. Or not time, but it might, uh, help us find what we need. We gotta keep it. This looks like a great apple. All right! This apple looks extra juicy. There's one. Wow! Dimmy is right! Try this! Wait, all right. I'm not gonna need any more of these guys. The I need a golden one. And it's gotta be a gazelle. Right. I think these are just like regular deer. <laughs> When Goku and Bulma arrive in the village where the next Dragon Ball is located, they find the villagers locked up in their homes. They're hiding from a shape-shifting monster known as Oolong, when supposedly, who supposedly kidnaps young women and threatens to kill those who try to stop him. 
Bulma offers to have Goku take care of Oolong if they give her the Dragon Ball. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna have to jump to the next area. Next area is gonna be West City. I doubt we're gonna be finding any fatty snails or golden gazelles in this area, but they're in the ball. area is going to be. Try giant gizzard wasteland. We might be able to find the gazelle's uh, horn here. Honestly, I'm hoping we run into that thing by complete accident because that thing is such a pain to look for. It's like the one thing in the game that I've had issues uh, gathering. Alright, let's see. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball. Off to our right. Ah! Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Ah! <laughs> hey, it's the two star Dragon Ball. Some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. What's with that stone? All right, mm. let's do this. Okay, I'm not fight right now. Lend me your energy. You should train some more. <laughs> Just trying to find these items. Into the freezing cold water we go. Here's the five star Dragon Ball. All right. Over there looks like it's got some shots. All right. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now.
this is the one star dragon back. <laughs> trying to fight. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Okay, so we got the Dragon Ball from this area. Looks like we got one more to grab. That's going to be located here. Hopefully it's just one more. She and everyone are doing. Right, straight down. It's actually two, yeah. so there might be two might in this area. Trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I've got a pretty good idea where to find the river snails. My only might issue is the, Best to deal with this now. the antlers still. So where is the last dragon ball located? Ah, it's in Papaya Town. Even though we knew the androids were coming, we still couldn't stop them. Alright, so yeah, I'm probably not gonna end up doing... If, I mean, if it'll let me do the quest in another chapter, I'll probably do it in the next chapter. But I'm probably gonna end up skipping this quest for this chapter, at least. Because I feel like this video has already gone on way long enough. For one, and for two. Is that a ship? Well, I guess that's my main reason. The video has already gone on way too long, and this is definitely like another task that's going to take you possibly an hour or so. Just looking for the gazelle horn, hoping that I get the right item from the golden gazelles. I'm sure, I'm ready to eat this fish. <clears throat> <laughs> we got and to be perfectly honest, these gathering quests are not my favorite. Four star Dragon Ball. Whoa, am I glad to see this? I mean, as much as I wanted to complete all of them, set. though. I was kind of hoping to do this without the Dragon Balls, but Cell's way too strong for that. I'm not powerful enough to beat Cell on my own. This way, we'll have a backup plan if something goes wrong. Looks like they're back in working order. I'll say. Thanks, Dende. Hey. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's see. If you look at the, if you press X over the item, you'll be able to find what kind of things are available in that area. Uh, 
this one doesn't have giant gazelle or a golden gazelle. We got golden gazelle around here, but I'm not exactly sure in which area, which makes it a little bit harder. I think Blake Bog was like the easiest area to find them in. And gazelle, yeah, let's try Blake Bog real quick. <clears throat> Spend a couple minutes trying to get it. If we can't get it, then we're just gonna move on. More like a couple seconds, even. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. All right, this looks like a great apple. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. We got some gazelle here, but none of them are golden. I doubt we're getting a golden gazelle antler from any of them. guys sees a golden gazelle somewhere over there and follow these guys uh, messages for hints too some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. What's up? Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Looks like a great apple. <sighs> I don't know. I really like leaving things incomplete. It's making me feel sour, but like I said, I'm not trying to spend an hour looking for this thing again. And last time I recall, it didn't even give us anything too amazing. This tree's been around longer than Master Roshi. That tree is huge! Alright! <laughs> so yeah. We got a keeper. We're gonna go ahead and jump to Dende and give him the uh, Dragon Balls that we found. Hopefully we can come back to this quest later on. Are you ready for the showdown with Cell? 
and I'm just ready as I'll ever be. That's great. Good luck. Everyone was focused on the fight ahead, and before they knew it, the fated day of May 26th had finally arrived. All right, time to go. Don't you dare die on me, Goku. Don't worry, I won't, Chi-Chi. And my little Gohan better not fight. <laughs> what? Well, uh... Can't um, promise that. What do you think we trained that man for? Promise me Gohan won't fight. Look at the time. Bye. Uh, hey. My little Gohan's going to fight. I can feel it. Hey. There you are. It's almost time. Wait, where's Vegeta? Don't tell me. Is he in the hyperbolic time chamber again? He went on ahead of us. Gotcha. Man, he's really raring to go. Uh, yeah. Well... Whoa, why is everyone so down in the dumps? Goku, we've got some bad news. We can bring back a lot of people at once using just one wish with the Dragon Balls. Just like before, we can't bring back anybody that's died once already. I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner. What? That's all? Relax, Dende. We just won't die. It's as simple as that. B won't die? Uh, you do know that we're up against Cell, right? Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's get going. We're gonna be late. How are you this calm? You're starting to freak me out. Come on. You want to get left behind? So, are you coming too, Krillin? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Against his better judgment, yes, he's coming. <clears throat> ah! Oh, it looks like it did get rid of that little side quest. Oh well, what a shame. Can't remember what they... Oh, they wanted it to help the guys that turned into the beast guys so that I could get in there and get... Only 20 minutes left until the Cell games begin and the fate of the planet is decided. Oh, I was trying to make dude some Cell mushroom tea. Cell can be seen standing motionless in the center of the ring. The vile monster, Cell, is threatening to wipe out all of humanity. Only one man can stand against such evil. The World Martial Arts Champion, Mr. Satan! That's right, Mr. Satan has come to save us from certain doom! Listen up there, Cell. I got you all figured out. You use a bunch of light shows and trick bombs to destroy the city and the military. But let me tell you, those toys won't work on me. <laughs> Who is this clown? Vegeta, I'm surprised you've got the guts to come here and show your face. <laughs> well, looky here. You're still alive. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like you've had a little bit of work done. They flew too, right? Just another trick, that's all. So, uh, Goku, do you think we can really beat Cell? Beats me. Until I fight him. for a real challenge. Ah! Lend me your energy. Solar flare. You're kidding me. We won, baby. 
barely. Drop two spirit bombs and a solar flare on them. Hey, uh, Gohan. Hello? I'm not sure. Hmm. Thanks, buddy. Super heal aid. I'm glad Lemonade has healing properties in this uh, in this game. Maybe we shouldn't have rested as much as we did. Rest is an important part of training too, Gohan. <laughs> You're finally here. I've been waiting for you, Goku. I've been waiting. The Cell Games begin. That should be everyone. Welcome! They all... they all just flew, didn't they? <laughs> I guess uh, uh, that trick's uh, pretty popular these days. Sixteen! Looks like you're back in working order! I owe you my thanks, Krillin. And you too, Go on. Glad to see you're better now, Sixteen. Let's give it our best. Goku, I was created with the sole purpose of killing you. Do not forget this. Man, this guy's nothing but gloom and doom. It's time. Let us begin. I don't care who's first. As the world martial arts champion, naturally that would be me. That guy? He's dead meat. I say we <laughs> let him go for it. If, uh, well, when he dies, we'll just bring him back with the Dragon Balls. Bruh, dying is not Jeez. that casual an Guess experience. Y'all over here treating it like it's just something that this happens it, so you can bring him back with the, the Dragon Balls. The battle to protect the planet is finally underway. The Cell Games have begun! Take this! And that! Oh, you're irritated. See, Cell was such a nice guy. He didn't even kill him. Mr. Satan has been knocked out of the ring. He's lost the match! Well then, let's begin the Cell Games, shall we? M mr Satan lost? But, but, but how? I, uh, I just lost my footing. I'm gonna take a break, uh, and then I'm gonna mess him up real good. <laughs> he still doesn't have the slightest clue what he's dealing with. World champion my ass. So, who's first? Well, I guess I'll go first if that's okay. Well, well. In the interest of transparency, I was hoping to save you for the end. Bring it. Uh, I was hoping to end the video there before they started fighting. I, I didn't even see the last chapter end, honestly. I know you're holding something back, Goku. Let's end the warm up here, shall we? You're one to talk. You're not fighting me seriously either. I could have swore they were able to use Super Saiyan 2 by now. <laughs> I'm 
sure you agree. Yeah, you got that right. Yeah, yeah, here goes. Is he about to blur the spirit bomb? I can deal with the dodge, but come on, man. If I'm fighting the right person. Same here. Okay, there's a little gap that we had. <laughs> well, well, look at you. I must say I'm rather impressed. I wasn't expecting to have this much fun. You'd better eat one of those sensu beans, Goku. I'm having way too much fun to stop now. If we give Goku a sensu bean, and all of us team up on Cell, we can take him down. That's enough, Trunks. You don't have any pride as a Saiyan, do you? And you don't know him at all. He would rather die than beat his opponent in such a way. But if we just let this go on... He can do it. I'm certain of it. I hate to admit it, but no matter what I do, I couldn't go beyond <laughs> Kakarot's level. He's some sort of genius but even as powerful as he is cell is still one step ahead of him so what are we supposed to do he's got something planned i can tell let's just find out what that is what's wrong are you not feeling well i don't want the fun to stop here you win i'm dropping out I've got a good idea how strong you are now, so I think I'm done now. <laughs> okay. What? what? He's forfeiting the match? What? What the hell is he thinking? Goku, you do know what you're saying, don't you? You do realize that once you've run out of people to fight me, every last person on the planet will have breathed that last breath. You got the wrong idea. You still have plenty of people to go up against. Can I choose who goes next? Would that be okay with you? Are you seriously going to forfeit? I got a feeling about this next match. It'll probably be the last one. If your next opponent can't beat you, then it's safe to say that nobody can. But just based on what I was able to learn while fighting you myself, I'm pretty confident this guy will have no trouble taking you down. What? Get it now? That's why I'm fine with dropping out of this thing. <laughs> All right, you've piqued my interest. Just who is this mythical fighter you won't stop going on about? The next one up to fight Cell is... I love this dramatic he is little the only one. pose who's capable of taking down Cell. All right, guys. Well, this is where I'm going to cut the episode short. The next one might be a little short because we're already halfway th into it. Uh, we weren't supposed to get this far into it, but I couldn't find a saving point, and I didn't realize the other chapter had already ended. So here we are, saving the game. Uh, if you guys like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I know this was a bit of a long one. Um... But there was lots to do, lots to find, lots of little plot holes to fail, and so much more. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.